Benefits of a bidet. Here's a summary from WebMD. Benefits of using a bidet. Bidets are more hygienic than toilet paper. Bidets could potentially limit your germ spread. They could lower your risk of hemorrhoids. Bidets enhance your bathroom experience. And bidets are better for the environment. It's rare I get to show something that really helps the environment on my channel. And this is a, uh, a really good one. Can you imagine how much toilet paper is used a day? There is a better solution. Little uh, liquid pun there. Uh, and that would be a, uh, a portable bidet. If you've been to Europe, you may have uh, used bidets there. They do uh, provide a great bathroom experience. I was a little skeptical about this at first, but I thought I better give it a try because what it can do for the environment is huge. I mean, I come out here to see all these wonderful trees and quite a number of them are being cut down just to make one use toilet paper. But uh, there's something that I can do about it and I'm doing it. I bought these three bidets and I tried them out and I'm gonna show what I found <laughs> uh, or didn't find. I mean, uh, you use this uh, power washer and it's uh, quite, quite powerful, and it, uh, and it will do a good job uh, cleaning you. And, uh, you know, it doesn't leave a mess. It's, uh, it's very effective, it's cost effective, and it's great for saving uh, trees and doing a better job than, uh, than the, the paper solution. <laughs> Let's get to the bottom of this. In an effort to bring uh, real world testing, I have some roasted red pepper hummus here. And uh, I am just going to uh, make a little uh, mess here with my finger and uh, just kind of uh, give this uh, somewhat of a, uh, mm, oh, it's delicious. Conditions and uh, challenges can change, but now we're gonna use uh, number one for number two. Okay, that was about half a bottle, maybe two-thirds of a bottle of a squeeze. And uh, this one has a, uh, a uh, somewhat of a fountainy uh, th opening, it has pinhole openings for, uh, but you know, you, you hold this vertical and it will uh, fire upwards, uh, depending on your reach. Let me reload. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, wipe the, uh, the, this area down and get it dry. Uh, not much moisture on here. Let's go with this little plug here. You won't You'd like to make sure you push this in really tight or you'll pop your cork. You'll blow your cork out of the uh, bunghole there. So we don't want that. So let me, uh, let me prepare the patient again. This won't hurt a bit. <laughs> okay, leave a nice sloppy burrito mess on here. Challenger number two for number two. This has a slotted vent here. And it's, uh, I'm pressing it in because uh, I like a high pressure power wash. Okay. Again, about two thirds of a bottle, one squeeze. Uh, good job blasting off the residue. I think if you, uh, if that's to your liking, this has got a good powerful jet, more so than the first one. Number two is a little better than number one on this uh, challenge here. I'm blasting away debris. So let me uh, prepare the patient again, give it a good wipe. There you go. Let me uh, get our, uh, our residual matter here. <laughs> mm. Okay, nice little, mm. Mm. oh, delicious. I'm going to uh, force in this into the old bung hole. And uh, again, I'm gonna give this a powerful shot. So I wanna make sure that this is uh, in here stable, okay? We have a nice uh, silicone tip, uh, external use only. Okay, let's go to work here. Okay, no problem. Uh, about a third of a bottle left. Plenty more if I wanna use it. Okay, so there's uh, still water in the bottle. Uh, a good job from number three. So uh, these, uh, let's wipe this up, dry it off a little bit. Um, what I'm not showing is um, the patient would normally be at somewhat of an angle. And uh, a lot of the water would spill straight down. It's not obvious here, but it's not like I end up with a wet leg or anything. Uh, you know, you gotta do a little practice on squatting and getting your positions right. But uh, it's well worth the effort. Uh, this is about three feet of toilet paper. 
and uh, I'm going to wipe it up. They did an okay job on this plastic. I think real world, there's other challenges, irregularities. It would probably take a couple of more wipes in reality with toilet paper. And I'm just saying that even if you end up using a little toilet paper to dry up after you're done, it's going to be far less, far less than toilet paper. So for me, a reach around to the back uh, from above, not going underneath like between the legs is the best solution for me. Now this is the first one. It's a little cap. You can put it on any bottle and uh, I'll turn it over and you give it a shot. Whoa, hey, it's got pretty good, uh, pretty good trajectory, good power. This is number two. <laughs> it comes with uh, this red thing. It uh, does not come with a bottle. Uh, you have to provide your own bottle and this is a bidet bottle. I'll explain that in a minute. So you turn this over. You can use any water bottle and you give it a shot. Whoa, it goes pretty good. Oh, that's probably a three to a six foot shot. So that's a pretty good uh, wash right there. And here's number three for number two. It's a, uh, got a little bit of a, a nozzle thing there. So you give this a shot and it's uh, more of a fountain-y kind of a thing. Uh, okay, so this, uh, this one comes as a kit. This is the, uh, the bidet nozzle and it has a bottle with an air vent on it, which uh, I, don't, I don't know that that's necessary. You know, you give it, uh, a couple of squeezes. If it was a regular water bottle, and these can be used on regular water bottles, uh, they, you know, they'll all work on regular water bottles. The way that I rated these, after using the bathroom, I used the bidets, and then I checked with paper to see if there was any thing that I missed. And at least for me, in my diet, and what I eat, you know, I'm laying off the burritos, uh, the, uh, at least for me, all three of these worked. But I have a preference for this one with this bottle. This is a kit. It comes with a bag and a, uh, and a nozzle. This one worked okay, and, but I like this one the best. I thought it gave me the best power wash, and I like that. You know, <laughs> I kind of feel nice. You know? Anyway, so it, uh, it, you can get three of these for a couple of bucks, uh, like under, under 15 bucks. I'll have links in the bottom for them. And uh, again, after using it, I used about half a bottle of water uh, on, on this one. And uh, that was sufficient to, uh, to clean me up. Now, obviously, you know, diet changes, uh, conditions change, all sorts of things change. But uh, I'm happy to report that these worked well. And let's not forget the, paper t the, uh, the toilet paper shortage of 2020. Uh, it seems like a long time ago. But uh, these are probably handy things to have around for a number of reasons. What's brown and sounds like a bell? Dung. There's a little technique involved here. Um, you want to go from behind, from around the top, uh, reaching back. Uh, as again, going uh, between the legs and all didn't work for me. You're going to get all wet. And uh, I had no problem with backsplash. The trajectory on this is uh, long enough where I could keep my hand far enough away. There was no backsplash. And after using it, um, from a good squat, you know, you, you're pretty much dry. Uh, it doesn't take much paper to dry after that, very little. And uh, I think this is a good solution for, uh, for backcountry and for a lot of other reasons. You know, if you're traveling and you have access to a water bottle, it's pretty good. Now, I tried a platypus uh, collapsible bottle. Did not work at all. I'm going to try it again, but it didn't work out for me. You need a really a rigid bottle, like a like a you know a pint bottle or a half pint bottle uh, for water. Any water bottle will do. Any you know even disposable ones you could buy, but reusable is obviously going to be better for the environment.